Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. Tank Wars! I got to watch Tank Wars at Caltech. It was awesome. Every year, the mechanical engineering students at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena are challenged to design, build, and operate a fleet of three robotic tanks that can successfully navigate, control, and defend strategic base positions on a grass course. There were six teams of four, and almost half the participants were women. When I got there, I was immediately drawn to the Riveters, an all-female team wearing iconic rosy ribbons. Their tanks were two-thirds 3D printed with pieces color-coded to each tank, which were named after Powderpuff Girls. They used 3D printing primarily for parts that were not load-bearing and that would be hard to machine, like the motor mounts. They also kept backup prints handy for on-site repairs in case of collisions on the course. They took full advantage of 3D printing for prototyping and testing their designs as they moved through multiple iterations as well. Students fabricated their tanks using the Make It 3D printers in the Caltech machine shop or the CraftBots in the 3D printing lab, which can also be used for students' personal projects. So here's how it worked. Autonomous motion got a head start before teleoperation. While direct robot attacks were against the rules, you could shoot nerf balls at the other robots, and if you hit them three times, they had to go back to the start. Most teams operated two tanks at a time, so if one took a spill, they could swap it out for another one in their fleet. The Riveters were the undefeated champions of this competition, thanks to strategy, engineering, preparation, design, and creativity. They were careful not to over-design, and in fact scrapped their first-term design completely. They simply designed their tanks to reliably withstand the course, and they finished two weeks early, so they had plenty of time to practice and get a good night's sleep the night before. Congratulations to the Riveters for a stellar performance, on International Women's Day, no less. Even the mini trophies were 3D printed on a TAS-6. The big one is a portion of an actual steel gear, which will be passed along to next year's winners. For more information about the teams, click the link below. Are you using 3D printing for an awesome school project? Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.